whenever the INICT exams are announced, a lot of young dentists and interns are confused. What is this exam all about? Is it like NEET MDS? And should they give this exam? In today's video, we are going to answer this. I am Dr. Satish Kumar and this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Prior to 2020, AIMS as well as Jipmer and PGI Chandigarh used to conduct their separate MDS exams. But the problem was the students have to fill different forms, give different examinations and wait for the results from all these universities. Even for the different universities, conducting separate exams was a problem. So the government came up with a common examination known as the INICET, that is the Institutes of National Importance CT examination. The INICT exam is held twice a year, once in May and June and then in November for the July and the January intake respectively. The number of seats available varies from 10 to 20. The exam is held in more than 125 plus cities. It's a three hour examination with 200 questions. You get one mark for each right answer and there's a negative marking of one third for every wrong answer. Those answers which are not marked, you get zero. Now, the next question is, should you give this examination? Yes, if you have completed your preparation for the NEET MDS, that is when usually the exams are conducted in December and the INICT exam is in November, you should give it a try. That way, you can use this examination as a test run to know whether you're confident and you are well prepared. So the question I raise is, what if you're not prepared? Maybe for the July exam and your NEET MDS preparation is still not ready. That depends on the type of personality you have. What do I mean by that? Before I explain that, if you're liking this video, do not forget to hit the like button below. And I'm sure you're subscribed to our channel because we keep on coming up with amazing content to help young dentists succeed. Now, what do I mean by personality? There are a few of those who after giving a bad paper, completely lose confidence and are not able to study further. Whereas are those who after giving an attempt, realize the follies and the mistakes they've done and are motivated to keep on studying further. So if you're the kind who gets demotivated quickly and you're not sure you're ready for the exam, then you can skip it. But if you think you can use it as a motivation or an experiment to know where you are and how much you have studied, you should go ahead and give the INICT exam. For those who are preparing for the NEET MDS exam, we have created videos to help you push forward your preparation. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.